Hey guys, it's Lori. Today is day 116 of my P3 slash 4. <laughs> Actually, it's been more P4 than anything lately, but this is going to be a vlog full of some major food porn, so if you don't want to hear it, you're not going to want to watch this vlog. If you're on P2, you might not want to hear it. Um, put it in your watch later folder or playlist. Anyway, um, oh, and by the way, if you hear the noise in the background, it's my pug. I don't have Chewbacca in my kitchen or anything like that. It's my pug. He's chewing on a pig ear. Sorry if you're offended by that pig ear thing, but I didn't cut it off myself or anything. I bought it, so he's chewing on a pig ear. Anyway, um, yeah, the food porn is kind of necessary to get my point across, so... And I'm sorry about the funky hair, too, but I washed it and let it dry by itself this time because I'm, I'm going to go in and straighten hair pretty soon. So. Anyhow, <laughs> I know you guys don't give a crap about that, but I had to mention it because it bothers me to look at it. So, All right, so yesterday I had like lots of calories, lots of carbs. Um, I wrote down everything I ate, and I'm going to be looking at my notes over here. I had two pieces of cinnamon raisin Ezekiel toast with butter in the morning, which was really not early morning. Cause I don't eat breakfast, but anyway, beside the point. Gee, oh, Christmas, Oscar. Get into that down there. Okay, the two pieces of the cinnamon raisin Ezekiel toast. I had a McDonald's sweet tea, which I do half sweet tea and half regular tea. Well, I haven't had that in like over a year, but when I used to drink the sweet tea, that's how I've always drank it. It's too sweet for me. Um, I had fried rib potatoes with Vidalia onion. Oh, I can't resist Vidalia onions. They're so good. Black bean chili. Had some of that. Later on, we had a campfire. And my whole family was here. We had chips and dip was one of the things we had. And I was kind of munching on those after we got the fire started, kind of waiting on the fire to die down a little bit so we could cook some hot dogs, which I had a hot dog with a bun. I had some baked beans, which I only had about three bites of because they were gross. Macaroni salad. I had two s'mores. Um, then about 2 a.m. Yes, 2 a.m. And I wasn't drunk. I had some more chips and dip. Yeah, I did lots of them. So anyway, I had to kind of stand there and say, back away from the chips, Fluffy. You're eating like you're loading. What are you doing? So I backed away. But anyway, this morning I was kind of afraid to get on the scale. I thought, God, you know, I'm going to be up at least, at least two pounds. I'll be, I'm going to be in the mid 130s. I just know it, you know. So I was kind of dreading the scale. But even though I didn't feel bloated or anything like that, which I was surprised, but I didn't. And I got on the scale and I was 131 even, which is 0.4 down from yesterday. What? 0.4 down from yesterday. Now I didn't do the scale to answer anything. You know, I didn't dance with that number. I took it and ran. So, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. But well, my, my point here, I do have a point, I promise. I'm 0.8 below what I was seven days ago. I'm not where I want to be. No, I'm in the 130s. I'm not where I want to be, but I do have a point, I promise. Last week I ate clean P3 on Monday and Tuesday. Okay, then the next four days, not so much. I had um, anything and everything I wanted, really. Things like, uh, well, like my bad choices included things like rice and um, potato salad, potato chips, Cheez-Its. That's, that's one of my weaknesses, Cheez-Its. I always have them in the house. One of my weaknesses that I always have in the house, that's the thing. Because my, my youngest son absolutely loves them, and that's his go-to snack after school. So I always have them in the house. Um, what else did I have last week? Oatmeal cookies. I had some oatmeal cookies. Um, you know, stuff like that. Very little sugar, really, but some. Um, plus there was a full moon in there, so. And I'm point eight below where I was seven days ago. So, my point is, I am strongly stabilized here, obviously. Because I've eaten, you know, lots of calories, lots and lots of carbs, in the last few days and I'm 
0.8 down from where I was seven days ago. You know, like I said, I, it's not where I want to be. I don't want to be here, but but I am. So um, I am going to be doing another round, and I don't know when yet. So I, I, you know, I'll definitely keep you guys updated on when when I make that decision. But um, I'm not doing the whole thing where I'm not saying, oh, I'm going to be doing another round soon anyway, so I'm going to eat like a freak. You know, I'm not doing that. But what I am thinking is, I keep thinking, well, I'm going to be doing another round soon, so I'm not going to bother to try to take it off on my own. So, anyway, um, there's my update. Now I want to tell you about a fun exercise I found. It's super fun. I really love it. It's hula hooping. I love hula hooping. My, I used to do it all the time when I was a teenager. But um, my daughter, Brooke, my 24-year-old, she loves to hoop. She does it all the time. She does all the fancy tricks and dances and, you know, stuff like that with her hoops. And actually, I have a video on here of her. It was just a video that I put on for her sake. <laughs> but anyway, I had a few people watch it. But now she's practicing with, like, multiple hoops and stuff. So she does it all the time. And I bought a water-weighted hoop. I have another one, too, but which is fun. The other, my other regular hula hoop is fun, but the water weighted hoop is a workout and it's fun. So, and you can feel it too. You can feel it in your abs. You can really feel it like afterwards, you can feel your abs have been worked. And then the next day you can feel it in your abs. So I really like it. And I got it at Walmart for five bucks in the toy department with all the other hula hoops. I don't know. It just looks like a regular hula hoop to you pick it up and go to use it. It's got water in it. You can hear it if you shake it. But, and I don't know the weight of it or anything, but um, anyway, it's a great ab workout, and it's so much fun. And even Brooke used it, and she even said, wow, this is an ab workout. Mom, this is great. And she said she could even feel it in her abs. So, and she's used to hooping. But anyway, I just thought I'd tell you about that. It's so much fun. And, you know, you put on a song and do your hooping, and then you put on a song that's got a little bit faster rhythm to it, so you can hoop to the rhythm of the song. It's just a lot of fun. Um, I haven't worked too much on my activity room lately. I'm kind of meant to have that done by the end of this month, but that's not going to happen. I've been spending a lot of time with Brooke lately. So, um, it's been, she's been spending weekends here and she needs me right now. So I'm here for her. So she's got a long road ahead of her, but she's starting to come, starting to come to her mama now. So my kids know mama's here if they need her, no matter how old they are. So anyway, that's all I got for you. See ya.